Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Nick Hayes Reviews. Today before me I've got a 2015 Mercedes-Benz C200 sedan. The colour is Tenorite Grey so let's have a look at it. Starting off at the front of the vehicle here, uh, it is quite a little bit different to um, the C300 coupe that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. This car does not have the sport package which means that there is no uh, sporty grille with a lot of little uh, chrome dots on it. This is just our standard grille with two uh, slats covered with chrome at the front here, chrome around the badge, uh, badge up here, uh, two badges, funny that. Uh, chrome down the bottom there, chrome where there would be fog lights if you option them in, and on that side as well. Over here we've got our standard LED lighting, uh, we've got a daytime strip here, uh, reflector high beam and projector low beam, and this here is a turn signal. Getting along to the side now, and I apologise for the noise if you can hear it. Uh, there are some kids playing on the road. Uh, these are 225 45 R18, so 18-inch wheels, looking clean as anything after a nice wash. Getting to the side here, chrome around the windows, of course, chrome down the bottom. Uh, there are, the door handles, are, sorry, are, are not chrome; they're just uh, body-coloured uh, handles. So I don't know. Some people prefer that. Some people don't. I personally prefer the chrome, but that's my opinion. Uh, mirrors here, LEDs on there of course for the turn signals. Uh, they do come out when you lock and unlock the doors. So you at the back here, the same sort of story with the wheels. More chrome and the fuel tank. Along to the back here, yes it's a Bluetech model. Uh, this is Mercedes special uh, diesel system. Uh, it's got a separate tank for what they call AdBlue. It's some sort of solution that is supposedly better for the environment and supposed to give you better fuel economy. Who knows? Could be a load of bogus. Mercedes badge here with chrome underneath it. C200, because that's the model that it is. Uh, the base model C-Class. Uh, the exhausts, are, well, they're fake. Uh, they've got chrome around them. But if you have a look at this, it's just plastic, so I can go like that. And you hear the noise of plastic, so uh, a little bit fake and yeah. Whatever. Down here, flimsy little piece here. I don't know what that is for, but anyways. All these lights here are LEDs. Uh, reverse lights, turn signals, brake lights, all that. It's all LED, of course. Uh, Mercedes-Benz of Sydney, which is where this car was purchased back in 2015. Uh, as you can see, the lines on the windows here, they're for the D, uh, D mister, so you can use them in winter time in the morning. To the other side of the car here, uh, there's more chrome down the bottom there. Uh, 225, 45 R18s, as I mentioned. Chrome around the windows, of course, uh, and showing that nice tenorite grey colour, which has held up reasonably well over the three years that uh, this car has been out for. Um, this car was previously my grandfather's uh, before he upgraded to that C300 coupe that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. So, um, yeah, it's a nice car. Uh, design is pretty much the same. They've just released a new sort of updated model. Uh, it looks pretty similar though. Uh, yeah, this still looks pretty new for it, uh, for its age of three years. So yeah, I should mention that on the roof here we've got a standard size sunroof. It's no panoramic roof like on that uh, coupe that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. Just a standard one, tilt and slide, all that. So yeah, it works just as well, just not as big. Looking at the key here, just the same as that coupe that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. Unlock down the bottom here, boot release and lock. Pressing the unlock button, the indicators will flash once uh, and the mirrors will fold out. And your daytime running lights do light up if it's night time. Pressing the lock button up the top here, we'll get a beep. Uh, three flashes of the turn signals and the uh, mirrors folding in. And there you go. Getting around to the back here to have a look at the boot release on the key. There is none of that uh, foot kick sort of thing that was on the coupe a couple of weeks ago. Just a standard button, so if I push that, the boot opens all the way. Looking in there, there's just rubbish. The seats do fold down, there is a little button here to do that. Just pull it out. Same on this side as well. A little light down here as well for convenience and a little shopping sort of hook here. Flimsy little thing, but anyways. There is storage underneath, so if I pull that up, there's storage under there. So yeah, uh, no buttons up here as well to close it. Um, it's just a matter of grabbing this handle, pulling it down, and there you go. 
and the car's locked itself. Let's take a look inside the car now. So I'm gonna unlock the car and step inside. No uh, proximity key system on this vehicle being the base model, but that's fine. Getting inside, very similar to the C300 coupe that I showed you. Um, this here is all glossy black plastic rather than that wood sort of finish. Um, I personally think that this uh, looks a bit nicer, although the problem with it is that it scratches and shows a heap of dust, so you're constantly having to wipe the dust off it. The look here is pretty much the same, that's a slightly smaller screen than that coupe that I showed you. Um, this does not have the upgraded command navigation system, it's just got the standard Garmin map pilot. So this is a 6 inch screen, um, not as nice looking as the other one but that's alright. Three vents here as you may have seen on the other car, uh, they, this was sort of like a silver finish around here. It's just black on here, uh, but still got the silver surrounding the uh, outside of the circle, circular uh, air vents, so yeah. Let's turn the car on now. So we can do that in two ways. We can either put our foot on the brake and push this button, or if you want to, you can take the little button off and you can put your key in there, which is handy if, you, if your key's out of battery and the push button start does not want to work. You can do it like that, but let's just put the button back in. There we go. I'll push it twice. Hopefully it works. Come on. Again. And there we go. It says change key batteries. This key must have dead batteries in it, but that's alright. Let's turn the car on properly so we can fix the steering wheel up. Okay, here we go. So the steering wheel here, uh, the one on the coupe was flat bottom for being a coupe, they do that. Uh, this is still quite nice, so it's leather wrapped. This is for your little screen in the middle here, so if I push that little back button there, it shows your speed, you can go down and choose what you want to see. Mum, my mum likes to keep it on the speed. If I press the home button, you can choose between a variety of different uh, uh, options here, so if I press OK on the radio here, it can show you what station you're listening to, in this case my mum's listening to 95.3, and it says down there as well, if you can see it, it says easy listening. Shows the time there, uh, the temperature outside, your uh, gear that you're in, so reverse, neutral, park or drive. The little yellow A up there, that's for the automatic start stop feature. That's for your comfort mode and all that. Um, down on this side here, uh, that's your speedometer. Uh, fuel sort of indicator there on the side here, that's for your park brake, that's why that's on. That's for the uh, oil there, and this is your tachometer. Uh, over here, this is our indicators, up for um, right, down for left. This is for your w front window washer, if I push that in it sprays the front window. This controls the wipers, pulling it, the thing towards me, turns on the high beams. Under here, if you can see it, over here, sorry, that's your cruise control. That's it there. Up uh, is to accelerate, down to de decelerate, sorry. I'll uh, push it in to engage it and uh, turn it off again. On this side, this is Mercedes' funny little uh, transmission thing here. As I said in the coupe, it's a little bit odd to get used to. You pull it down for drive, up for reverse, and uh, push it in for park. So if I show you, if I go up into reverse, you'll see a little camera come up on that screen. And there you go. And it's got little grid lines there, so if I turn the wheel, they move as well. But let's just leave it in park. So there you go. In the middle here it says ready for Bluetooth telephony. It's obviously not connected to my mother's phone because she's not here. This uh, this is all your climate. Uh, that's what you've got it set to at the moment. My mum has it 20 degrees on both sides. Uh, the air coming at your face. She's got the air conditioning turned off and the fan speed on automatic. This is all your controls down here for that. Uh, so this is for your temperature on the driver's side and the passenger side if you have your uh, sync button turned on. This is for the AC, turn it on and off by that. Recirculate the air, sync, uh, synchronizes the temperature for the driver and passenger. Rear demister menu, which brings up the air conditioning controls on the screen. Max, this button I didn't explain in the coupe, I'm sorry. Uh, this is for the uh, front demister. It'll turn it on at maximum temperature and maximum fan speed. Uh, auto here, uh, that's for your automatic uh, climate control. 
uh, fan speed up, down and off, uh, where you want the air to come at, uh, whether you want it to be at your face or your uh, feet or wherever, that, that's where you choose that, and te uh, temperature for the passenger side. Down here, this is for your CD control or CD player, sorry, eject, navigation here, so if I push that, that'll load up the navigation there, not going to show that though. Radio, if I push that. My mum's uh, favourited stations come up there. Media here, this is where you can play uh, CDs and DVDs and all that. Telephone, that uh, controls all your telephone and all that. And down here, this is the, oh sorry, this is the car as well. So if I push this, I didn't explain it in the coupe, but if I push it up here, you'll get a little picture of the car. You can adjust all the vehicle settings, uh, such as the time, um, what else can you adjust? Acoustic lock feedback, so that's the beep when you press the lock button. Uh, seat belt adjustment, so this is when I put my seat belt on, they'll pull back. So that's something a little bit odd that you have to get used to. Automatic mirrors, uh, locators, uh, illumination at night time, so as you can see that all that lights up at night time and we've got that turned on. Automatic locking after a number of seconds. Interior lighting, shut off, all that. Ambient lighting colour, you can choose between three colours, blue, orange and white. Uh, they sort of show under here and all around here, so that's what that is. Ambient lighting brightness and that's about it for that. Down here is the hazard lights, which flash like that. So I'll go back to my mum's radio screen. This down here, this is a Mercedes Command controller, um, same as in the coupe. You get a little touchpad here and a little uh, swivel wheel here which can allow you to choose what's on the screen. So if I turn it to the left, we've changed to Cole's radio. This is your volume here. And there's no service down here for the radio, so that doesn't work. Uh, this turns your screen on and off. I'm not gonna worry about that though. That's your automatic start stop button. Uh, parking sensors off and agility. So that's for the sport mode. So if I do that, if I go up, that's sport. Comes up on here as well. Sport plus. Comes up there, individual, there you go, and down for eco, eco's there and there, and comfort which my mum likes it in, that's comfort. In here we've got a big box, I'm not going to show that because there's my mum's stuff in there, in here as well, uh, same sort of idea. Uh, this is a massive uh, glove compartment here, I'm not going to show that either, um, only because my mum keeps stuff in there. On the passenger door here, got a standard speaker. We don't have the Burmester sound system in this vehicle, being the base model. Seat controls, no heated seats. Uh, standard door handle, window controls, automatic windows, and a lock up here. Sorry. On this side here, uh, all window controls, mirror controls, uh, locks for the door. Uh, you, or you can just choose to push that down, whatever you want. Down there, if you can see that little silver button, that is for your boot release, so you can press that and it releases the boot, opens it up. This is for your lighting, we leave it on auto, automatic lighting, uh, that has it on all the time. That's just your daytime lights and that's for the parking lights, you can choose what side they come on. Uh, this is for the brightness of your display in the middle there which I just showed. This one here and all that stuff, I, I'll show that now actually. So looking in there, I'm turning the button down now, oh it didn't do anything. Okay, well that's not working, so I apologise about that. This here, um, not sure what that is, and I think it's the automatic high beams, uh, don't quote me on that though. This here is another air vent with a uh, fragrance on it, my mum likes to have a nice smell in the car. This here, we got some cheap plastic um, paddle shifters here, they're alright, they do what they need to so that's okay. Uh, comfortable seating, the seats are a little bit different to the coupe. We've got extendable uh, leg uh, pieces here, so there's a little button under here and you can pull them back like that, or you can have them out like that if you're uh, taller for example like me. So when I sit in there I like to have that out. Uh, same as if I drive this car, I pull that out like that and it extends for me. Standard uh, horn there, not going to show that. Looking in the back here, cup holders in the middle, my brothers have them out. Uh, if you push on that, the cup holders fold out and you can put your drink in there, a little bit fiddly but whatever. Another little bucket in here, uh, standard stuff like that. All of this is leather, or fake leather sorry. 
eyes are fixed points on both sides, uh, standard uh, seat belts and all that sort of thing. Got a black headliner in this car which I really like. Grab handles are on either side, as I mentioned those lines before. Uh, standard carpets which aren't as nice as the ones in a Lexus vehicle, which I will show next week. Down here, uh, air vents, which is very nice uh, for a sedan. I always appreciate that. In the back there on the doors, standard speaker, door handle, and um, window up and down. So that's all standard. Up here, this is your sunroof. If I pull this, it's not electric to open the blind, but if I do that, you can see there, I've just washed the car so it's all wet, so I apologize for that. But if I push this button up here, or pull it backwards, that'll open. Let the light in, I pull it back, there you go, and I can push the switch up and down, so if I push it up, it tilts like that, and push it back down, and it goes back down. Up here, this is all your lighting controls here, you've got your uh, main lights, so if I do that, that turns them on, all LEDs of course. Here we've got reading lights which are under the mirrors, you can see that, that's what they are, so I'll turn those back off. This here, that's for your door, uh, that's to turn the automatic door lights off. So when you open the door, these lights come on. And I apologise for the video quality, it's not that great at the moment. Uh, in here, this is your little sunglass holder, that pops down, the sunglass is in there. And there you go. Up here, standard mirrors and everything, they've got lighting, LED, which is nice. Uh, standard mirror in there. I don't know what this little thing here is for. If you can tell me what that is, that'd be appreciated. Uh, grab handles up here, which is all standard, of course. Let's have a little look at the uh, speakers here. So I'll test them out. So I'll just check what song is on. Okay, nothing. Uh, my mum should have a CD in here, though, so I'll try that. Don't know what CD it's going to be, so... Okay, so it sounds like Sade. This is probably a song that you all know. Smooth Operator by Sade, so I'll give uh, her credit for this song. Let's turn the volume up and have a little listen. So, not, a, not as good as the uh, Burmister system in that C300, but still pretty decent. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, under here as well, if I go right under, there's a little release somewhere down there for the hood, which I will show you now. So if I find that lever, wherever it is, I I found it. it's a little red lever down there. It's a in a ridiculous spot because you can barely find it there. So let's have a look. So I've just let go of the brake. If we'll give it a little bit of a rev. So that's your little diesel system there. So let's have a look under the bonnet now. And I'll put that back to the uh, speedo for my mum. Let's have a look. We're getting out here. The lights have turned on actually. I'll turn them properly on for you to have a look at. If I do that, get this little switch down here, turn it to the right with the high beams, push that backwards. All our lights are now on. This is your full LED system here. LED there, that's your projector bulb, that's your standard light. That's your high beam and that's your uh, daytime running light. Don't know why that's flashing like that. Uh, it doesn't look like that in real life, it's just on the camera. I'll turn the turn signals on as well so you can see that. If I go in here, press that button, that one there. I have all lit up like that on the mirrors as well. So let's find the release for this uh, hood if we can. I'll have a look for it now. Uh, and I found it. There we go. This is on shocks. So there you go, that's the bonnet open. It's got shocks like that as I mentioned to hold it up. Your two litre uh, diesel, sorry. Uh, it's a bit noisy. Uh, making a sort of chugga chugga noise like you hear on all diesels. Uh, down here. Not sure what that is. Might be the washer fluid, I don't know. 
Uh, and I do apologise for the noise, it is quite a loud little motor. Uh, Mercedes seems to like to cover a lot of this up, with just like Lexus, so uh, that's understandable. Oh, this is your washer fluid here. So I don't know what that is over there. Battery's under here, under this bit of plastic. But yeah, let's pull this back down, it's making too much noise. So just like that, and it's down. Big noise uh, when it drops, don't worry about it. Uh, LED there, as I mentioned. Looking at the back now. These are all on. LEDs, of course. That noise. I don't know if the exhaust... Oh, there they are there. So that's the exhaust there. A little bit of warmth coming out of it. Uh, so, yeah, blue tech here. And I will show this, actually, to you. If I do that, that opens. That's your add blue tank there. So that's what I was talking about before for the blue tech system. And that's your standard diesel... Um, tank there. Now let's turn that back off now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a very nice car. Uh, this was my grandfather's as I mentioned before he got that coupe. So let's have another quick look around it. Tenorite grey in colour as I mentioned. In very good condition. Uh, we've had this car, we got this car earlier this year off my grandfather after he got that coupe, so uh, he kept it in pretty good condition as well. Uh, nice colour. See, people say it looks blue. If you can see that, tell me. I think it just looks grey. I don't know how you see blue in that, but anyways. This triangle here, just like the coupe, is for your blind spot warning, so that's what that is. And getting back to the front here. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, uh, I hope that you like the look of this car as well, it is a nice car in my opinion, uh, that's my car there that I filmed last week, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all that, and we'll see you next time.